There is no denying it, YouTube is a top contender when it comes to where people listen to or watch their podcasts. It's really become a battle between Apple, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. Last year, YouTube hired their first podcast executive, and they just released onto the platform for the first time a dedicated podcast page. From the popular Explore tab, you now find podcasts. If you've heard any of this buzz, this may be the tipping point for you finally deciding to either get your podcast onto YouTube, or if you're thinking about starting a podcast, starting it on YouTube. Well, I'm glad you're thinking about it and that you clicked on this video because I'm gonna share with you exactly what you need to get started podcasting on YouTube. And at the end of this short video, I'm also gonna let you in on what is legitimately the ultimate and most effective podcasting strategy at the time of me shooting this video. We've got a lot to cover, we better get started. Hey friend, welcome to the Pod Sound School. I'm Studio Steve. I'm an audio and video producer by trade and also one of the creators of the Pod Sound School. If you're ready to become a content creation master, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check in each week for our seriously game-changing videos. Podcasting on YouTube and video podcasting is something of a specialty of ours. In fact, we've been teaching exactly that for over three years now. We've helped hundreds of students to get their podcasts onto YouTube, and we've even created a really popular workbook and short video series called Quick Start Guide to Video Podcasting on YouTube and Spotify. That's available right now for $47. If you wanna get a professional video podcast up and running quickly, you can grab your copy of the workbook by going to podcastingsmart.com slash video. I'll also leave a link in the thing below. And before I share with you what you will actually need to get podcasting on YouTube and what currently actually works on the platform, first, I need to get a couple things out of the way. There's quite a bit of controversy going around about what a podcast actually is. Many purists or OG podcasters are adamant that what makes a podcast is an RSS feed that allows you to share audio to all of the different podcast players. They'll say, if you only have a video podcast uploaded to YouTube and you don't have a podcast hosting site, then that's not a podcast, that's a YouTube channel. Um, uh, wait a minute, what? The lines are very blurry when it comes to audio content. Another place you see this blurry line is between audiobooks and podcasts. But I think we can all agree on a couple of basic conventions that most of us think about when we talk about a podcast. One of those is that podcasts are commonly longer form content. They also tend to be more conversational. This is a great quality because they allow more in-depth coverage of a topic. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is so that you can make that distinction for yourself. The first thing that you really need to consider when getting started podcasting on YouTube is to decide what type of content you wanna be making. There really are no hard and fast rules. There never have been. Breaking from conventions can often be a very powerful business strategy. So the bottom line is we can coach you and give you all the tips but you know your audience better than we do. You should know them better than anyone. So you need to ask, what type of videos does my audience enjoy? Okay, with that out of the way, we can get to my actual first tip for getting started with a video podcast. And that is to stay in your lane. What I mean by this is that it may be better for you and for the YouTube algorithm if you stick to one type of video. So while you may hear many YouTube strategists tell you to try splitting your podcast episode up into sections that center on certain topics and maybe recording separate intros and outros for each one of those chunks, this is actually a strategy we have tried with many clients and students with varying degrees of success. But people love listening and watching full length episodes on YouTube. So perhaps the easiest way to get started is to just record and edit your entire podcast episode. It can be whatever length you think your audience would enjoy. And with this, a good length to shoot for, I think is between 15 and 40 minutes. So essentially what you're gonna do is to podcast as usual, perform a regular audio podcast the way you normally would, only incorporate a camera. And that brings me to tip number two. Set up for video. This step doesn't have to be complicated. You don't need to have a separate camera for each person or multiple camera angles. You also don't need a fancy background with branded lighting. However, you will need to invest in at least one decent camera. I would recommend a Lumix or a Sony camera to start with, and I'll leave those recommendations in the description box thingy below. If you need to start with a webcam or with your smartphone, I would recommend using your smartphone as a webcam with one of the many apps that allow you to do that so that you can capture the video from your phone directly into your computer. That will save you a ton of headache compared to trying to get all of that footage off of your phone. 
In addition to a camera, you'll need some very basic lighting. For this, either a ring light for each person or a couple of LED panel lights will do the trick. I'll also leave some recommendations for that below too. Overall, you may be looking at about $1,000 of investment to have a really nice looking picture that can be edited to look really pro. This is something you can build up to. Start with some cheap lighting. You can use a webcam or your phone for the first handful of episodes and then save up for a sweet Sony camera. <laughs> okay, so we've decided on the format that we're gonna stick to for our show. We've created a nice backdrop in our podcast studio and invested in a little gear now we're ready to move on to the very important number three. Take advantage of the platform. Here we're talking about growth, getting your show in front of more people. One of the greatest and most amazing benefits of podcasting on YouTube is the fact that YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, and that it has 2.6 billion monthly active logged in users, and that YouTube also has a suggestive algorithm that will actually promote or suggest your content to new users. Currently, the podcast directories like Apple or Spotify are nowhere close to having anything like this. So to take advantage of the platform, you really want to incorporate regular keyword and topic research into your podcasting workflow. For this, my favorite three tools are TubeBuddy, Answer the Public, and Keywords Everywhere. I will leave all these tools in the description below too so you can check out more about them. And as you may have guessed, we do cover in detail how all of these tools work and how to actually conduct keyword research in our best-selling workbook, Quick Start Guide to Video Podcasting. So if you're serious about really making this work for you, grab a copy of that book, again, for only $47. Once you have conducted all of your research, this will help you to find and cover topics that people are interested in and actually searching for, which really helps YouTube to push your content out to more people. Here, it is very important to choose your video titles wisely. So, for example, don't name your videos Season 1, Episode 3, Stinky Fish Tanks. Instead, consider something like The World's Stinkiest Fish Tank, or What to Do About a Really Stinky Fish Tank. And the last and final tip before I share the absolute highest performing and smartest podcasting strategy that you can do is number four, and that's don't, don't forget, forget the thumbnails. thumbnails. Many podcasters on YouTube will choose a template thumbnail and simply just change the title or maybe the picture of the guest with each episode. Thumbnails are critical. They are a critical part of your YouTube growth. I have a really fun and helpful video that shows you how to design thumbnails that get clicks using Canva Pro. You can find that video right here by clicking on the little I button thingy. But it's important to know that you need to work in a decent amount of time with each episode to design a thumbnail that is eye-catching and intriguing. And finally, the moment that you've been waiting for. Here is the ultimate strategy for podcasting, and it's pretty simple. Video podcasting on YouTube and Spotify or Anchor. Somewhat recently, Spotify rolled out its video podcasting feature to everyone in the US using their podcast hosting site, Anchor.fm. Anchor is a free platform that allows you to host your podcast and has most of the bells and whistles that the other podcasting hosting sites do. What is particularly amazing about Anchor is that in addition to publishing your video podcast to Spotify, it will also allow you to share the audio portion of your podcast via an RSS feed with all of the other players like Apple, Spotify, Spotify, Google, Stitcher, Pandora, Samsung, Amazon Music, Pocket Casts, the list goes on. So what you'll do as part of the strategy is record and edit your video podcast episodes and then upload them twice, once to YouTube and once to Anchor. You can write your episode titles and descriptions in a Google Doc where you can easily copy and paste them onto Anchor and then onto YouTube. This way, you have a video podcast on both Spotify and YouTube and an audio podcast everywhere else wherever people listen to their podcasts. That's pretty powerful stuff. And if you really want to take things up a notch and podcast like a professional content creation beast, I would advise outsourcing the video editing and find a video editor who can treat your audio and also grab five short vertical video clips from each one of your weekly podcast episodes. This way you will have five vertical videos that you can share each week on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. And that, my friend, is some game-changing content strategy. You keep up this workflow for three months to a year and check back in with me. I'm certain you will be sharing insane stories of audience growth, new opportunities, and just overall fulfillment of your professional and podcasting goals. And that's it from me today. 
Don't forget to grab your copy of our super helpful workbook, The Quick Start Guide to Video Podcasting on YouTube and Spotify. You can go to podcastingsmart.com slash video to download that and get going with an impressive video podcast right now. If you found this video helpful, repay the favor and give this video a thumbs up and share it with somebody else who you know is thinking about video podcasting or podcasting on YouTube. I'm looking forward to watching you take your content places Don't be a stranger, leave a comment here and tell me about your show, especially when you launch it. Let us know, we'd love to help you promote it on our social media. And until the next video, happy casting.